So to do an Euler rim graft, I have a Q-tip. We mark out ahead of time the um, area, the highest point that we want corrected. Um, we've already carved the rim grafts made a, from septal cartilage. What we do is make our incision, um, a small incision on the inside here, marginal type incision. Actually, it's more of a rim incision, to be honest. Um, 15, please. And we, want, we don't want the graft to pop out, so we make this incision kind of small, maybe just a few millimeters, three or four. Um, millimeter, okay, right there through the skin. And then can I have the Steven scissors? And we dissect our um, lateral pocket further than our medial pocket because that's where we're going to slide the graft in to set it in place. So it's, it's all based on the pocket principle. The um, pocket size is, except laterally. Laterally here, it's a little longer than the graft. And then medially, I'm trying to do this so that I'm not in the camera way but um, we carry our dissection medially this way, and that allows us to, beyond the incision, so we can slide that, eventually slide that graft right up in there. Okay. So, um, again, we've gone more laterally here. And Sandy, can I have the uh, cartilage graft? Okay, just, um, all right. And <clears throat> we can see the graft loaded up. And that graft is a couple millimeters long or wide and maybe six or seven long. And then we take the graft and we just go laterally as far as we can. Uh, Dr. O'Born, can you just hold this? And then we use a small forceps to stabilize that in place. You can see this, the graft is right here. It's been placed uh, laterally. And now we just slide it up in the pocket and push it up immediately. Now that's in the pocket, uh, we brought that rim down a little bit and now we can just close, close that with a 5-0 chromic.